Steve, the ink is dry on another new contract. You must be really pleased. Yeah, I am. Yeah, it's uh, it's great to now sort of commit what will be you know another few years uh, of my career here to Sussex. Um, I've had four you know really enjoyable years here. I've loved every minute of it, and um, you know hopefully this coming season we can uh, put a, a good performance to, together as a group and, and move back up uh, in the division and, and have a good season with, with White Balls on. And the big news for yourself that you're no longer an overseas player. No, I got the uh, British citizenship um, in the early part of uh, of January, uh, which is great news. It took uh, a little bit longer to come through in the end than probably what we hoped, as uh, you know, for, for myself and the club. But uh, we got there in the end, and uh, obviously it's great for Sussex now. Um, they can, you know, we've got Ross Taylor coming over uh, as as the overseas, and and I'm still able to play here as a local player, which is great. So it's quite a lengthy process in the end, wasn't it? From, was it from the middle of last season? Yeah, the, um, so we submitted everything sort of midway through, probably midway through July, I think, last year was the earliest I was able to actually put the application in. And like I said, we were hoping to have it done a little bit, bit sooner, but um, you know, these things can uh, drag out a little bit longer uh, in these sort of departments. So we, you know, a little bit frustrating. I was hoping to have it before the end of last season. That's obviously would have given us a few more options at the back end of last year, but, um, but not to be. So does the British Ness extend to watching the football down the pub and uh, eating fish and chips? Uh, oh, look, you know, I've been here four years now, so um, split allegiances, I suppose. You know, it's uh, still still very much called Australia. Um, home is a very important part of my life, so um, get to go for both teams in the Ashes, see who it is well, I guess. First week back, um, for everyone reporting back for pre-season training. Uh, first outdoor training today as well, a bit chilly out there? Yeah, it was freezing, yeah. Uh, but the sun was shining, so that's good. It could be worse, I suppose. It could be uh, cold and wet. and. Uh, but no, it was great to get back out um, at Hove. Uh, the bowlers had a good 10-day camp over in Spain uh, last week uh, and the main group, but we're all going over again this weekend for three days. So uh, everybody's back from overseas, which is great to see all the familiar faces again and get stuck back into, into proper training. We've done a lot of, uh, of fitness work and everything up until now. Um, so it's good to just get the, get the bowling boots on and get, get out there. It's a real good feel about the club when everyone comes back, isn't it? Like you say, people have been away overseas and, and gets everyone together again. Yeah, there is. You know, it's um, you know the energy comes back into the into the ground when the whole group's back together. Um, long winter months, uh, pre-season training, it, it is hard. It is a hard slog. Um, sometimes there's only three, four, half a dozen people here at times. Uh, so to have the whole group back here and have people that have come back, uh, you know, having been overseas and, and, and playing in different competitions and training elsewhere, uh, is really good as well. It's a really exciting season to look forward to, isn't it? New coach, new director of cricket, new captain, real fresh feel to it. Yeah, there is. Um, like I said, you know, we we had a disappointing year last year to get relegated. Um, so we've got a lot of things to do to try and correct that and to get us back up in Division One, where we, you know, feel that we um, we, we should be playing. Um, but you know, last year we can't complain by the results. Really, that's where we've ended up. So we have to do something about it this year. Um, and there's a new approach, like you said, uh, new, new coach, new director of cricket um, and new captain. So there's a good energy around the place um, that we can take everything that was great about, uh, um, you know, past coaches and Robbo and things like that and Ed. And we can move forward and have uh, another set of new ideas come in as well and complement all of that. And, uh, and hopefully that'll put us in good stead. And two or three weeks ago, you must just be ready to go and get out there now. Yeah, this is always uh, this always ends up being quite a long month in March. You, you kind of get to the end of February and you feel like everything's ready to go, and you're just kind of waiting for that first game to come around. Um, like I said, good to be back out at Hove and training down here, so familiarise ourselves back out with the with the pitch out here, and um, you know, sort of on countdown now for for the next couple of weeks uh, for those practice games, and then the 10th of April.